In this section, we will introduce the backup and the restore of SQL database. Click Begin. Select all programs to start the SQL database service manager. We need to operate the backstage of SQL server. Click Start and Continue button. When here change to green, it means the SQL server is start up. Then please close this window. Right click the desktop shortcut of software, select open the file location to enter installation directory of software. Then Choose SQL set, double-click it, click Test Connection, it should connect successfully, which means that we have connected the backstage, click OK. Then we can create database, click Create Database, there will pop up a window states that the current database will be deleted. Do you continue create new database? Click OK. Click OK. Then please click Save Configuration. Click OK. We have complete the database connection configuration. Then we will introduce the method to backup and restore the SQL database. Open the software. You can find there is SQL access data in the left button, which shows the current software application is SQL database. Let's check the software situation before carrying out the backup of SQL database. Click Configuration. Click Personal. This software has added the three users. Now we will begin to make a backup. Click File, select DB Backup. Click OK. There is a message marked as Access Data SQL plus the date of backup, and the suffix name is BAK. This is the name of backup database file. Click OK. It is saved in the SQL installation directory, which root is D drive SQL server. Click MS SQL. And there is a folder named Backup. Double click to open. You will find a database backup file. Let's check the document name. You will find it is a file that we have backed up before. And the suffix of this document is BAK. OK, please enter the software again. We will show you how to restore the SQL database. Click Personal, then select All Users. Click Delete. Click OK. Then please exit the software. Click OK.
Next step is to find out the SQL set. Double click it and click test connection. It should connect successfully. This means that the software will have linked to the backstage of SQL database. Click Advanced Options and then select Restore Database. It will pop up a window to confirm if you want to continue restore the database. Click OK. The root is SQL Server. MS SQL. Backup. And then please find the backup file and open it. Click OK. That means we have restored the database successfully. Click Exit. And uh, please re-enter the software. Checking if the uh, three users we deleted before have come back. Click Personal. You will find you get the users back by restoring SQL database. That's all. Thank you.